All right, guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about supplements. A lot of you guys love your supplements. Um, I get the question all the time, hey man, what should I take? What supplements do you take? So before you even think about taking supplements, just make sure that your nutrition's on, on point, right? So supplements exist, this is my philosophy on supplements. Supplements exist to fill gaps in an already well thought out diet and recovery approach. Okay, so if you have your protein, your carbs, your fats, you, you've got a sleep schedule in place, you have a training schedule in place, you know, things are, you don't have to be perfect, but you have everything else in place, now supplements come in and fill the gaps where you can't. And that's gonna look different for everybody. So there's no, there's very few supplements I think everybody should take, okay? Um, I do think most people should probably be taking some kind of high quality fish oil, because the American diet, we do not get enough omega-3s. Um, so high quality fish oil is important. And I think uh, vitamin D3 with K2 is another one that most everybody should be on. So 70% of COVID patients that were hospitalized were deficient in vitamin three, uh, vitamin three or vitamin D rather. Um, vitamin D is actually a hormone as well. It's gonna affect everything from your immune system to energy as well. So um, yeah, supplement with that, that's gonna make you feel better. Apart from those, it's a case by case, need by need basis. Um, now here's the trick though, the supplement company, the supplement industry rather, is full of a lot of scammers and people looking to make a quick buck, so you gotta be careful. So a couple things that I like to look for uh, when I'm looking at supplements and reading the back of the label, one, if it says the words proprietary blend, run away, because that means they're not telling you what's in it, okay? Oftentimes they might advertise a flashy new ingredient you can go into any GNC and you'll see this in like the sleep section. They'll, they might say, this has ashwagandha in it. And then you turn on the back and it says proprietary blend and you don't know if there's actually an effective dose of ashwagandha in there uh, because they're not telling you and they could be doing what's called pixie dusting where they put enough of it in there but it's not actually efficacious to do anything. But hey, it's on the label, it says it's gonna help with this and so uh, proprietary blends, to me, I just, I won't purchase anything when that's a proprietary blend. I wanna see what is actually in it. Another thing to look out for is just fillers. Okay, this is around the label, just, you know, starches and wheats and things like that, um, and other allergens should be free of that sort of stuff. Um, another thing is, if it's not made in a facility that's FDA approved, that's okay, or if it's not FDA approved, that's totally fine too, but it should at least say that on the label as well. So, again, proprietary blends, run away from that, uh, look for your allergens and your fillers, um, and just make sure that if somebody is touting a certain product, that um, do the research on it yourself and see if it actually has scientific evidence to back it up. Because sometimes the new latest and greatest, they might be using some faulty studies or some anecdotal evidence, and there might not be that much science behind it. So those are just some things that I look for when I'm purchasing my supplements, but again, um, make sure that all the basics are in place first, and then you can start filling in, because there's some really cool supplements out there, and again, it also varies on your need. Let me touch on this too. Is it best to get your protein from whole food sources? Yeah, it is, but let's be real. Some people work crazy hours, crazy jobs, and this is where supplements come in to fill those gaps. So nothing wrong if you have to take two or three protein shakes a day to get your protein in, because for example, you're a nurse. I work with a lot of nurses. I know what their job is like. They're supposed to get two breaks and a lunch break, but oftentimes you're working 12 hours with no break. And if the alarms go off and somebody's coding, you have to go deal with that. And so you don't have time for a meal. And so that's a perfect place for 50 grams of protein and maybe a carb supplement that you can put in a shaker body really fast and get it down the hatch. So that's just one example of, uh, of a scenario where supplements fill the gap. Um, wide world of supplements out there that do a lot of cool things. Just be careful, do your research uh, when you're making those decisions. All right, so I wanna share with you guys some of my favorite supplements, some of the common ones out there. So protein, that's a big one. Another one would be uh, carbohydrate supplements. If you are, you know, you need to increase those carbs, it's hard to eat all that food. Sometimes getting a high quality carb like cyc cyclic dextrin, um, something like uh, EFX's, oh, what's that stuff called? I forget the name of it, but they've got a carb supplement. First form has ignition. There's a lot of really great ones out there. Carbolin fuel, that's what it is. EFX has carbolin fuel. All that stuff is good. Um, 
I personally like creatine. Everybody talks about creatine. Think about it as a, a mass gainer. It actually has a lot of neuroprotective uh, and cognitive benefits as well. So uh, it might sound silly, I've got my grandma on creatine. There's scientific research that shows it can delay things like dementia and things like that. So creatine is one of the most safe and effective studied supplements. Personally, my intra workout is I take two scoops of EAAs, I take a scoop of creatine and a scoop of glutamine. The glutamine is awesome for enhancing recovery. It's also really gut protective as well. So if you're in a phase where you're trying to eat a lot of food to gain a lot of mass, that could be stress on the digestion. So glutamine is something that's nice to add in there as well to just kind of help your stomach. And then there's also, you know, other things that you could add. Um, if you're looking to support liver health, I'm a big fan of um, Tutka. If you want to increase your high density lipoprotein, right? We're going to cholesterol, citrus bergamot is a good one. If you've got sleep issues, um, depending what your sleep issues are, but you could you could add things like magnesium three and eight. Uh, magnesium is another one that people are pretty deficient on that would be wise to, to supplement with. Um, zinc is another one. Um, I'll do a special one for you ladies here. If you are on any type of birth control, a lot of times magnesium gets depleted, selenium gets depleted, calcium gets depleted. So those are some big ones that I would add in, again, along with the vitamin D as well. If you go into GNC or any supplement store, it can be overwhelming. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. Like I said earlier, just do your research when you're looking at these things. And if you don't know what to do, you can send me a message. I can help you out. Um, this is where coaches come into play as well. It can help kind of guide you as to what you need to support your lifestyle. So if you guys want to reach out to me, you can find me at anthony105kpro on Instagram or my website is newvisionstrength.com. You can reach out to me there as well. Um, happy to help anybody that I can, so shoot me a message.